Where is the fourth road Honogly? Now, with all the theories that have been released and put out there since the release of One Piece Chapter 818, I have found two that I find the most reasonable. Number one, the fourth Poneglyph in, in production of the Celestial Dragon. The fourth Poneglyph is the national treasure, uh, Dolphamingo, spoke of. <coughs> and the plan here is that with this national treasure, uh, that the Celestial Dragon had being the fourth Poneglyph is the reason why Dolphamingo said it could shake the world. Because of course, if you were to gather this Poneglyph and put it together with the other three, you could find the location of the One Piece, and Whitebeard did say during the war the best that when somebody finds the One Piece, a, a war will engulf the entire world. Now, some people believe this. Now, I don't necessarily believe this. I have another theory, and I'm uh, with the other side of things, but I wanted to point out that this is possible and very likely. But what I think is even more likely is that the red haired Poneglyph's location is known, or the or this man either ha could possibly have it, and that is Red Haired Shank. I know you're probably thinking, what the hell? I only said Big Mom and Kaido had him, yes, but Shank had been to Rattel. Maybe the reason people don't know he has it is because Shank doesn't give a crap about the One Piece, so he hasn't made the knowledge public. The world doesn't know he had this Poneglyph. As far as the world is concerned, this Poneglyph location is unknown, but maybe Shank has it hidden somewhere, and he's protecting it. Now, this is very possible, because, and the reason Shank wouldn't go after the other couple of Poneglyphs is because, one, uh, Shank could possibly know the location of One Piece. We are not sure if he was with Roger when they boarded the Island of Rattel, but he could possibly know the location. And if he knows the location of the One Piece, bam, like, why would he need the Poneglyph? If Shank had been on Rattel, he knows how to get there, and he could just go there on his own. So he clearly had no interest in the title, because him, even Buggy could go to Rastel, like, just like Usopp said. You could go there right under the noses of all the other pirates if you knew where it was. Did you, did, if you know where it is, you don't need to confront the Yoko at all. And then you had, like, all the power, you had the One Piece, like, the most powerful man on the planet. Debatably. Now, the reason I bring this up is, of course, because this means even Buggy could have found the One Piece. So, what this leads into is the fact that I don't really think Jank wants it. I don't think there's anything that could really stop him from getting it, if he wanted it. Unless there's something related to the will of D being a necessity, and of course, Jank is not a D, as far as we are aware. There are theories about him being a D, it's very possible, but then again, there are theories that Luffy's mom is Fujitora. Uh, yeah, so. There's a theory for. <coughs> <coughs> There's a theory for everything in this damn series. There literally is. Everything. But, so I personally believe that the four particles is in the hands of red haired Shank, or it's at very least, Shank knows where it is. Like, he knows it's a vast location, and I believe maybe Roger put Shank in charge of protecting it. That is very possible. I could be wrong. Because my, one of my theories that I'll talk more about in a separate video, is that Shank had the four particles, and when Luffy meets him, he'll be like, Oh, Luffy, you become a great pirate here, the fourth Poneglyph, and this will lead into their fight. Into their fight, and Luffy will, of course, knowing his character, will be like, No, screw you. No, we're not doing that yet. I am getting this thing legitly. Like, we're not doing that. I'm getting the Poneglyph legitly. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to kick your ass, and then I'll take it from you. Then Luffy, as a character, wouldn't want to cheat. He would want to get it the same way he got it from everybody else, and... Because it's a shonen manga and no Luffy character, we know for a fact he's going to want to fight Big Mom and Kaido for the Poneglyph. So, he'll probably want to fight Shanks as well for that final Poneglyph. And then now, now they could, you know, put it on the C-chart, they could go, and they'll be followed by a certain man that I will talk about more in another video, but in detail I'll talk more about this series, but that man will be Blackbeard. I'm going to talk more about that in another video, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please like, Comment and subscribe for more videos. I think One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day and tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below.